I've always been a huge fan of coffee. You guys know this. I talk about it in like all my videos. Like, oh, let me just take a quick break and grab a coffee real quick. There's, there's actually nothing over there. My, there's a wall. The door's that way. So I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I have a slight obsession with notebooks. These are from Field Notes, and I recently got them. There's 15. Like, that's a lot of books. We have, oh gosh, we have ones from the Rocky Mountains. This is one of my favorites. Ones from Denali. How many of these have you guys actually been to? I kind of just want to tell you guys my plan, because I kind of have a different plan or approach to how I want my life to be once I move to New Zealand. And originally the plan was, you know, obviously photography and maybe work in retail because I was like, yeah, I have fashion sense. I think I dress up pretty, you know, like, I, you know, I think I got, you know, decent. So I thought maybe it would be cool to get a job at, you know, one of my favorite stores in a mall or something and just work there and, and then do photography on the side. The more and more I think about it, the more... And more, I want to become a barista. I just, I want to work in a cafe. I want to work at a little cute coffee shop. And I want to open. I want to open. I want to work part time. I want to open. I want to be a morning person. My light just died. So there goes the beautiful color grade. I'm going to fix that. <laughs> okay, cool. Did I fix it? There's a cord now. And my laptop's out of the shot, but it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's not the same. But it's okay. Oh, that's gonna kind of annoy me now having the lamp. You know what? Fine. The light looks great. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to stop being so OCD about everything. You know, maybe I want to work part time as a barista in a cute little cafe, and I want to open for them so I can wake up in the morning because I really do want to become a morning person. I want to go on jogs in the morning, grab my camera, get out before anybody else is awake, capture those cute little moments, the misty, hazy, foggy, cold mornings, get to the shop at like 5 a.m., open up, go in, dial in my espresso, get everything set up, all the syrups, grab those out of the fridge, the peace and quiet of being the only one there setting up for the day, getting ready for customers, I think would be just amazing also a, f a really cute thing i thought it was cute is that i found out that customers are also called clients in in some in some cases and i'm i'm i'm, I'm okay with that the ultimate dream is to have my own coffee shop in my apartment like i'm picturing some neon signs uh some fairy lights uh you know uh, an island countertop with my barista pro from breville my espresso machine i have all my syrups i have a little sticky notes that i can give to all my friends that come over and they can write what they want and i can make them lattes or macchiatos or cappuccinos or flat whites or whatever they want um and I, I think it would be super dope and all my friends can come over i'd have pictures on the wall of like all the photography and all the cool places i've been and like i think it would just be a cool vibe have like plants on the wall but fake plants because i kill real ones rip gerald you guys remember gerald the ogs remember gerald he will be forever missed much love i've been i've been in like a rut lately like i don't know what it is i think it's the transition from summer to fall have you guys tried the pumpkin spiced frappuccino from starbucks if you have not i highly suggest you go try that because it's really good i had it the other day i got a venti for the first time ever i got a venti i always used to think a large was a grande turns out it's a medium I'm a bit, I don't know. Quick little story. Sorry, I'm just, this is just going to be a ramble today. You know, I'm feeling nice and cozy. You know, the sun's going down. It's just after, what time is it? Ah, stretching noises. Oh, it's only, it's only 20 after seven, but it's already getting dark outside. Oh, I like it. I like the vibes. But, uh, yeah, I just made myself a chai tea latte a little bit ago. Tried to practice latte art. I got all the necessary tools to do it with my hands because these things are useful for things. Who would have thought? Uh, so I got a hand frother and I got, a, I ordered a pitcher. I, I still don't have a pitcher to pour my milk. Uh, 
which kind of sucks. I was just using a measuring cup and I failed miserably at steaming my milk. Uh, I'm still getting used to, to it. It's my first time, so cut me some slack, okay? But I made a damn good cappuccino. I made great foam for the top of a cappuccino, but no latte art yet. I'm, I'm gonna shift over here. I'm gonna shift over here. So I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm too centered. I feel, I'm too relaxed over here. I'm too cool. I'm chilling in my cozy sweater vibes. I'm gonna sit over here. Also, the light looks amazing, and I'm also blurry. There we go. Huh. Also, uh, I'm actually taking a six-week online course, uh, so I'm very excited about that. I'm only about a week into it but I'm learning so much. And I'm also learning a lot on the side from YouTube videos. And I've been watching this creator, Matt Hoffman, and he has just incredible insight on espressos and different types of machines and backgrounds of like how the beans are roasted and from where they're from and the different notes that the flavors are from different beans from different areas like you know your guatemalan beans your nicaragua your your uh you know arabica all, all different types of um roasts i guess i'm still learning but i'm very i'm very excited uh but yeah so far the only things i know how to make are uh, I love iced coffees and cold brews and things like that. So I've been learning uh, how to make iced caramel macchiatos. Those are my favorite right now. Those are my top go-to right now. Um, but I recently started to make chai tea lattes with pumpkin spice because it's that time of year. And I'm not gonna lie, might be my favorite hot drink ever. It's so damn good. Americanos, if you guys want to know, if you guys just want to like a q and A, if you if you want a and a we could do a QA and a at some point. I think would be dope. I haven't done a QA and a in a very long time. And I think my styles changed. The way I look at life in, in certain instances has changed. And just a lot of what I like and what I don't like has changed. So maybe we'll do a QA. and a Like drop some comments and maybe I'll do a QA and a video. I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah but chai tea lattes with pumpkin spice my favorite hot drink right now i think my my least favorite drink in in the coffee space as, as a whole in terms of hot coffees uh americanos i have the strongest dislike <laughs> i just went like demon mode it's not halloween yet keith what are you what are you, what are you doing all it is is hot water and espresso on top so it's watered down espresso. It's disgusting. It's the putrid foul bean juice. I don't like it. I really don't. I don't enjoy it. So yeah, but I do love making chai tea lattes. Those are one of my favorites. Uh, I love making iced caramel macchiatos and I love making iced mochas. Those are probably my top three. Uh, and just like a regular flat white if I'm in a hurry. So I'm kind of all over the place and I usually am when I'm storytelling or like brain dumping or whatever I call it. Uh, but back to the whole life plan now for when I'm back in New Zealand, I, I do plan on working part time at uh, or even full time. But I think it'd be cool to work part time, open up for a cafe uh, and then be out of there by like noon. You know, most people open at five or so and you're out of there by noon. That's that's a six, seven hour shift. Not bad. Go in there, get to talk to some really cool people because every cool person loves coffee, obviously. I think that's, I think that's true. I mean, I've converted people <laughs> to the dark side. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. I've been giddy all day. I, I honestly don't know. I've, I've just been, I've just been in a good mood today. I've, I, it started slow and then I practiced my latte art and my milk steaming for about an hour and a half. What I saw in all of these videos that I was watching versus what I did was very similar. But my foam went up <laughs> like that. And it didn't matter where I put, I mean, I have a hand frother, so like, it's not really a wand, but like the tip of my froth, that sounds so weird. <laughs> Sorry. The tip of my wand, my wand just under the surface which is what everybody I, my brain farted for a second there sorry just under the surface and that's exactly what i did but, the, but there's too much air there's too much air that gets eh. 
because you you can't aerate aerate you can't aerate the milk too much or the, the water or whatever you're using because otherwise it's gonna be too foamy and if you don't do it enough it's gonna be it's just gonna pour like regular milk you need to have a of a nice balance so that way it's more of like a wet paint type of texture it's nice and silky and yeah mine I can't seem to find that texture I did buy a thermometer as well so that way I could measure the temperature because if your milk is too hot it won't froth right and if it's too cold it won't froth right there's like a nice medium balance of around 60 i think it was 55 to 62 degrees celsius i think is the right in that sweet spot is where you're going to get the the best sweetness as well uh, from your lactose and I, I sound very smart right now and i know i've been learning i know a few things i don't know everything i literally just started like a week ago but i'm i'm just diving in i'm just like Whoa. i can maybe incorporate these into my cafe, into like my own little coffee shops, and I can like write their orders in here. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, so that I might be using that that in that way. But yeah, I went to Starbucks and I bought a lot of stuff. I got well, I didn't buy a lot of stuff. I bought like a, a cup. Yeah, I bought a cup. Yeah, so I guess it wasn't a lot of stuff. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> It was a lot, okay? One thing is a lot sometimes. Last week I had some free time. I was just, you know, browsing and uh, I had some time to kill and I stumbled upon the Latte Art Championships from like 2018 or something. And I, I think I got stuck watching for like 45 minutes straight. Not just the fact that they know how to make espresso, and they know how to do latte art, but the, the hospitality aspect of it as well. And like how you come across and like how you interact with the customer and make them feel invited and warm and like you embrace them while also giving them great coffee. Like, I love that. I love that vibe so much. Like, I, I'm, I'm a really friendly guy. Like, I'm very approachable. I'm very, I'm a good listener. Um, sometimes I don't know what I'm saying because I'm a weirdo, but that also could be a good thing because I have interesting quirks. So... I think that would be cool in a coffee shop and something that I could add. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep practicing my latte art and I'll, hopefully I'll get better. And once once I can kind of do it, I might I might make a video for you guys and show you some of my drinks, like how I how I make some of the drinks. I think if you guys want to see that, I think that'd be kind of cool. I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in the future. I have no idea. And I'm sorry that I haven't been posting a lot on this channel. I just haven't been super... I guess motivate like I'm always motivated to make videos but sometimes you just don't want to do it you know and like I'm not obligated to make videos every day on this channel like it's my channel I just make videos whenever I want to um, and I make videos on whatever I, I want and today I just wanted to talk and rant and just like spew words out of my mouth so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it and I really appreciate you guys watching and I hope you guys enjoy I think it's autumn for most of you guys. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy your day. Have a coffee and uh, relax. Enjoy the nice, warm, well, I was going to say warm. It's cold outside. Enjoy the cold weather. Enjoy the rain. Enjoy the, the gloomy days because I, I genuinely enjoy those. So I hope you do too. Um, until next time. Also, oh, I also, quick, quick note. I also ordered more stuff from Bones Coffee Company. I ordered their ground espresso, and I also ordered a hoodie from them because they have merch, and it's awesome. So I ordered that. I have, like, eight things coming in the mail. Like, it's going to be Christmas before you know it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go. Oh, also, if you want to watch a really cool YouTuber, uh, go watch Morgan Drinks Coffee. She does amazing videos, and she's super entertaining and really quirky and fun and weird like me. And I just, I love her vibe, and she makes great content. So go watch her, and yeah, see you guys next time.